Hello everyone, CBCraft here, and I have another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. So, basically what I have here is like a teleporter system, sort of. So basically we go into this oddly placed blue box thing. Step on, go in, step on a pressure plate and it takes us to basically this destination selector. So if I press this button it takes you to the tundra area. I can go back in. If, it, if I press this button it takes me to the plains. And if I press this button, it takes me to the moon. So, this, for the most part, uses command blocks. So I may title this like a command block t tutorial or something. So, anyways, here's how to build your own. So first, now basically all you really needs to build the teleporter things is a command block and a pressure plate but really that's no fun so we'll so we'll build a structure around it so getting my wonderful lapis which is not useless and is in fact very useful so boom, boom, boom. So basically, this teleporter th thingy uses the command blocks, which were recently introduced to Minecraft in one of the in one of the weekly snapshots. Am I the only one who thinks that it makes no sense to put wooden doors in redstone? I'm sure redstone can open them, but really, is it that... Most of the time, the most redstone you have opening a wooden door is a pressure plate. So, here, I already have the coordinates written down for the select uh, place to go to room. So, I'll just type that in, so, the command is, slash tp, at p, to target the nearest player, and then the coordinates, x coordinate first, y coordinate second, and z coordinate last. Now I get to put the floor in, and put in a pressure plate. Yeah, sorry if I fumble around with the creative inventory a lot in these tutorials, because really, I am not used to it at all, so, yeah. That would be why I always fumble around with it. So I'll just go over here. So I can get back here. And now what I need to do is write down the coordinates of right outside this door. Which I probably should have had already done before I started this recording. Okay. That's nice. Okay, good. I have my coordinates written down. So, now let's just go back to the select a place area, and where do we want to put this button? How about right over here? So we'll just dig in here. So, what you need is the command block here. 
get my dirt. So basically we'll just make this um right. Slash T P at P X nineteen Y six D four and Z negative one sixty two. So if now hopefully we will so if we prep Yes, I was afraid that would happen. Because it sort of can get off by like one block, so we'll just have to fill that in so that when you teleport here you don't fall directly into lava. So let's try that button again. Good. Hmm. That's peculiar. Okay, yeah, that that's the desired effect, so. Now really the only thing left to do is Label the button with a sign during decoration. So let's see, lava, lava lake. That's not lake. Lake that way. So, press the button, teleported to the Slava Lake here, and one more thing I should probably show you about that mood one specifically, because you can't be on the mood if it's not night time, because that just looks strange, I mean seriously. Look, that looks nothing like the moon during the daytime. It's just so not right, so... Basically, what we have here is, uh, so we've got a command block directly under the pressure plate block that, so that teleports you, and then this one sets the time to zero, and the reason we need to set the time back to zero is we don't necessarily want to go to all of our destinations at night time after we go to the moon. So. One last thing, I've done the moon's wiring a little special because, so this one sets the time to 1800, and this one sets the teleport. So, I have redstone, I can put redstone wire going across command blocks because they are solid blocks just takes a little block placement tricks and yeah that's how you can build your own teleporter hub thing of course this is impractical if you're on a survival server but hey if you hey if you found an awesome place in creative mode that you'd like to be able to visit again this may be what you need to do Oh, and again, no, not again, because I haven't told you this yet. Command blocks are actually not in the creative mode inventory as of this snapshot. So you'll need to go to the Minecraft wiki and look up what their exact number is before you can get them. So you have to give them to yourself. In which case, if you can give yourself stuff in survival mode, then I guess you can do it in survival mode, so... Anyways... Until next time, everyone. I've been CBCraft, building awesome stuff with command blocks and redstone. Until next time, bye everyone.